Hey guys, morning, what's up? Welcome to 40 Rounds Weekly Running Vlog. I'm currently training, well, hang on. I'm not actually training for two marathons yet. That starts January the 1st, but I'm training for my training. Does that make any sense? Anyway, if this is your first time of 40 Rounds, smash that old pink button down there that says subscribe on it. And while you're down there, don't forget to get over to 40 Runs running community on Facebook. We've got now, I think like 1,500 members across all the different communities, so that's pretty awesome. But anyway, I'm out doing this run. I'm trying to get my mileage in so I can claim my uh, winter virtual run medal from 40 Runs because that's 30K in 30 days. Some people have already done their 30Ks and it's like, what, 8th of December, something like that, which is amazing. Um, I don't know about you, but well, you're running, but it's absolutely wet as you like down here. It's like that, but on the trails. Uh, but anyway, so this week we're talking about running shoes. Um, I see a lot of stuff online about, especially now with marathon training, people asking about what shoes are good, what brands are good, and all this sort of stuff. So I thought this week we'd talk about it briefly. Uh, just a, a big, uh, well, not tip, but Thing. you actually only need one pair of running shoes guys right get yourself down and get your gait analysis done and find a pair of shoes that suit you and to be honest with you you need one pair when you get into marathon training it is good to rotate between one or two pairs and if you're a little bit more not experienced but if you've been doing it a little bit while what you'll find is you'll start picking up shoes for different jobs so uh, that's what I want to talk about this week the varying different shoes that I've got for different sorts of runs because when you are marathon training it is something to think about but if it's your first one you really only need one or two pairs of shoes honestly but I think it's worth and it's going to be interesting just to tell you why I wear different sorts of shoes for different training runs so let's get stuck in with that I'm going to try and stay dry as much as possible actually to be fair I've been a bit lucky because it was hammering it down when I left um, and I'll catch you at the end with a running journal. Right guys, marathon training shoes. The biggest tip I'm gonna give you today is to get yourself down the running store, get yourself fitted properly. Find yourself a nice comfy pair of shoes that are properly fitted to you and, and to your feet. It is so important to get that done. Take the time and get that done. I'm gonna show you what I'm using. I do get people asking me what shoes I'm wearing. Um, you don't need to go out and buy five or six pairs of shoes. This is just what I've built up and what I use for various different runs and I'll tell you about that quickly in a minute. But I so say you can just get away with one pair of shoes. Don't think that you need to go out and buy three pairs of shoes after watching this video. But these are the shoes I'm wearing. The main shoe that I'm wearing this winter is the Nike Pegasus 35 Shield. The reason I'm wearing these bad boys is because they've got waterproofness in them, I think it's called. I always buy a new pair of Nike Shields for when I'm doing winter marathon training. This year the model seems to have got a lot better. I find these extremely comfortable. I went up half a size. I am a neutral runner, but I absolutely love this shoe and these are gonna be the mainstay of my long runs this year. To complement my Nike Pegasus 35s, I'm going to be wearing these On Cloud Cloud Flyers. I love these shoes. These are going to be my sort of long run, nice weather shoes, if that makes any sense. So when I'm hitting the pavement and it's like probably February, March and onwards, and when it's a little bit nicer, I'm going to be using these bad boys. Uh, at the moment, I'm currently using them up to 6K, just getting them bedded in. Uh, these replaced my Nike Pegasus 34 from last year. Uh, but these are going to be, along with my Nike Pegasus Shield, the sort of mainstay of my long run uh, running shoes this year. Right, so next up is the Hoka Clifton 5. Uh, I love these shoes for recovery runs. I won't wear these shoes over 10 miles. They give me a bit of a blistering here if I wear them for too long. I don't know why that is. That just is the way these are for me. I've tried different lacing, but I just can't get them to work over anything longer than that sort of 10 miles. They are extremely comfortable up until that 10 miles. I'd say they're perfect for me for the sort of really nice recovery runs. They're nice and soft. Um, I also like to wear these when I do park runs as well. I say they're a good shoe, but unfortunately for me, they just don't fit me that well. Next up is the Luna Epic. I love this shoe. This is the shield version. Basically, I wear these when it's too wet for the Hoka Clifton 5s. Again, like the Clifton 5s, I'm wearing these for recovery runs, park runs, that kind of stuff. They're just a lovely cushioned ride. Anything sort of slow, I wear these. From one extreme to the other, uh, the Zoom Fly. Now, if I'm looking to go fast, real speedy tempo runs or intervals or stuff like that, I'll slip these on as long as it's not too wet because the grip's not too uh, great on these. Uh, and then I'll just go out and bash out a quick run. I love these shoes. They're super light, super fast. Um, but I would say I wear these only for tempo runs and intervals. 
And then last up is actually my marathon shoe itself. I'm going to be wearing these again. These are my Pegasus 34s from London Marathon 2018. Uh, these are a custom job. Um, these are so comfortable. These are like putting on a pair of slippers. Um, and I'm going to be wearing these again. They are a little bit worn, but to be honest with you, if it ain't broke, don't try and fix it. So that's it guys, they're my marathon training shoes. As I say, don't go out and buy five or six pairs of shoes, you don't need to do that. Just find a pair of shoes that fit you. I found four or five different pairs of shoes there that fit me and work for me in different circumstances. So get yourself down to your running store, find a pair of shoes that suit you, buy them, get out there and get training in them. me done that was a very hard where are you hang on 10 k in just oh you're back <laughs> sorry about that yeah that was just 10 k under the hour mark so this week's been a bit of a struggle i don't know about you guys but we're all sick in our house again seems to be like every week but anyway so i ran on tuesday had that a usual commute run about halfway through that felt terrible so I, I didn't quit on it, but I eased right back. And then I basically been wiped out the rest of the week. Sinuses, you know what it's like. Uh, today's the first day that I felt like I could run. So what I thought I'd do is, and I've just done it, is I just did a 10K at, like, not marathon, yeah, marathon pace, I suppose. Uh, marathon training pace, I mean. So six minute kilometers was the aim, which I, yeah, I was bang on, 558. Um, I got up a bit late as well because it was absolutely hammering it down last night so I was kind of waiting for it to stop but it has which is a right touch so again being sick and that like, I didn't want to go out there in the rain so I think I spoke about it the other week it just goes back to my point if, if you're not in a training plan you've not got anything booked and you're feeling under the weather and you don't need a run don't bother wait till you feel a bit better like I have today um, and then start building up again. I mean, that's killed me. I had no more in my legs than I did uh, than running six million kilometers. And you guys know, follow the vlogs that I run a lot quicker than that, like a minute faster, so just shows you. But anyway, that's the week done. I was going to be doing 22K today. That was the plan, because I wanted to hit 22K before uh, I break up for uh, Christmas. So I might now, I've got 10K next week, which I'm pacing. Um, we're doing that at the Olympic Park. So I might instead, that was going to be my last run. So I might, the week after, which is like the 22nd, 23rd, I might then do a 22k out then and get that in the bank and then have like a week and a bit off and try and relax this sciatic, or sciatic nerve, that's about, uh, off. So that's what we're doing. Don't forget to check out the video on Wednesday. i got a really cool video on Wednesday, especially if you're doing your first marathon. So check that out on Wednesday. That's it for me, guys. I'm going to go ice skating now. Try not get injured. Okay, try.